Hey y'all, it's Deandra. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are taking these finger coils loose to do a finger coil out. So last week I posted the video of me putting these finger coils in and I used two products. My Kalita Naturals Custard and my Uncle Funky's Curly Magic Gel. So if you missed that video, then make sure that you click it. I'm going to link it right up here and it'll also be linked in the description box. But today we are taking these finger coils loose and I hope that it gives me some really pretty perfect spiral curls. I'm really, really excited. But before we get into the video, if you have not already done so, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also turn on my post notifications so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I post videos to this channel every single Friday, so make sure that you join the family. All right, y'all, so I've had these finger coils in for a few days now. I actually had to redo the roots on some of them because they were getting way too loose and I just couldn't deal with that. So I did redo some of my roots, but the actual coils themselves did not unravel, which was really, really good. I was hoping that they would stay intact, but I'm really excited to see the finger coil out. So I am going to take these down today. I haven't done this before, just like I hadn't done the finger coils before. So I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna come out but I am excited to see nonetheless. All right, so we're just going to start in the back. I'm gonna put some of my hair up out of the way. Just gonna start on this back one. Put a little bit of oil on my hands to try to keep down some of this frizz. kind of just untwisting the opposite way that I coiled it to see if that will do the trick. Okay. It's so funny because it literally looks like I still just have the finger coils in, even though I took that apart. I'm probably going to take these apart quite a bit just because I love big fluffy hair. That's how that part is looking. It's pretty cute. Moving on to the next. So you definitely want to make sure that you twirl your ends in the same direction that you did your finger coils in. Just to keep that coil look in your hair. So for the pieces that are like really, really frizzy, I'm just going in and kind of coiling my hair again, just to try to keep down on some of that frizz. So like this piece, for instance, is pretty frizzy. So I'm just going in and finger coiling it around my fingers.
isn't really fluffed or anything. It's just taken apart. And so far, I think it looks really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then I'll be back to show y'all what it looks like. All right, y'all, so I finished the other side. I haven't fluffed, I haven't picked out my roots or anything, but it still has quite a bit of volume. It honestly looks like I have micro locks or like those really small locks, which is really cute. So now I'm just gonna go in with my comb and kinda try to lift the roots a little bit cause it's looking a little flat at the top, which I don't like. So we're gonna take this comb and kinda lift at the roots. Just to give a little more volume. So you can see the difference between this side and this side. So now I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. And I think that is a lot better. It's so cute. I love it. hair up in a ponytail with some down because I just felt like that looked really really cute <laughs> but that is the end of this video thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one bye